guys, today I want to show you how to paint a landscape in a contemporary style. I found one image that I really like and I'm very much drawn to it because of its simplicity as well as and the nice composition of the colors and some texture here. So this is something that really appeals to me. And I thought that I will use another image, this time photographic one, and make it in the style of this particular painting. So that means I will keep this as a loose reference, uh, just to remind me how to simplify the shapes and uh, set up just the basic colors. I do want to introduce markers to get some of those outlines, as well as, of course, paint. So I'll place my image a little bit on the side i would first think okay what can i do with it and i really like this line here maybe i would even move it a little bit further that's up to me i can really play with it and then i like the movement of the river i will make it let's again it's up to me i want to place it like this there's something appealing to me in this particular look so i like this shape very much or maybe even more bringing the so this is already interesting, and maybe even more down. I like really to have it very, very like a sliver almost. So I can even push it a little bit further like this. Okay, then I have to think about the basic shape that maybe I will use one color, then I apply another color, and this probably would be the choice. And then I want to have some interesting, maybe trees, but I can draw, I will not draw them even now. I just want to have something in the back. That there's uh, maybe a line of trees in the back, or maybe even mountains, who knows? Well, it will be a couple of layers of something fantastic then i have to consider what kind of colors of markers will i be using here and i think for the river maybe maybe i want to have purple color introduced so i definitely will bring it yes a little bit heavier i like this wider sharpie because remember i we can always cover the line and you can keep at the same time that's what we think would look better in our painting so this part is completed and now i can really move to fun part and that will be the paint application and i will start with the top notice i have very different palette knives including the spatula so if i will have a bigger surface i definitely would use spatula oh, my paint dries up and this is the modeling paste so i will use it because i really don't like to see paint wasted and i mix those different colors because i want to experiment what will happen So now we can apply some other colors since the color under dried a little bit and start thinking about creating interesting combination. So you can see introduce different green now and I'm leaving certain parts that I like being exposed. So I'm not covering everything. Because that helps the image look better. Like even here, introducing some of the darker blue is to the benefit.
balance het kan ik. Ik heb er een heel klein beetje meer voor de balance. And you create kind of semi-abstract, almost abstract painting using, yeah, semi-abstract, I would say. Using a landscape image as our reference here. Yeah. So you can see lots of lots of going on. And I still think I can go a little bit more of it. Here I want it. Yeah. Maybe even in this spot. I really like this spot over there. This one here. Yeah. I want to get it lighter. Let me see when I will just go with some of this paint. Yeah, that will be even better. Perfect. So I hope you enjoyed this journey with me and now you can paint on your own. Have a good day. Bye.